hello everyone this is asmr studio welcoming you to my new photoshop tutorial and today i am just uh, presenting here uh, hidden settings of orange and teal preset that means uh, if you are using the camera filter or if you want to make your photo uh, like orange and teal type uh, effect uh, if you want to give that effect um, so you should know the hidden secret or hidden settings of this one so let's start the tutorial before start my tutorial i want to say one thing please do subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon and i want to give thanks to all of my subscriber for i am just reached out 175k for you guys and thanks to all many 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 thanks to all for this type of support to me so let's start the tutorial at first i'll go to the file and open up this one the stock image from the unsplash.com and i'll show you how to use the orange and teal and how to use the settings like that so and i'll give you that download link and this photo download link in my video description so check it out and at first i'll make copy by pressing ctrl j and after that go to the filter and camera filter if you are the user of photoshop cs6 version uh, then you have to update your photoshop to creative cloud or you can install the camera filter manually and uh, why you will use that camera filter uh, many of photographers does use these type of uh, settings like lightroom they are habitual for that but uh, in this camera filter you are getting lots of features here is the all the tabs and settings and here is all the tools and other things so it will make you more comfortable for photo editing so here the image basic the view view panel and panel over here and here is all the settings like that the basic tab then the curve tone tone curve and then hsl hsl hue saturation and luminance all the colors are here and you can adjust the hue saturation and luminance of that colors and here is the camera calibration most important part of the uh, panel just because here is the primary colors that means the red green and the blue in this photo you are getting the red tone that means the orange uh, like red i can consider it and green as well and the blue that means in this photo this camera calibration is most important and mostly important for every photo every colorful photo just because of you know that the all the colors are mixed up with these three primary colors so at first um, in a basic from the basic i'll just adjust the light i'll decrease the highlight in this portion you're getting the lots of lights like that if i make it zero here but i want to visible that portion that's why i'm just making it just minus value the highlight minus value and here's the whites here is the relation between the highlight and whites so uh, highlights the overexposed area uh, will just reduce the lights and the white is that the white portion here the light portion and here is the light portion it will increase it up like that so don't use it too much just because of if you make it more value plus value then it will be just burn type or overexposed type so make the balance like that yeah that's good and then the blacks i'll just like that and here is the exposure i'll add the exposure a little bit and contrast little bit okay that's good and the shadow i need shadow for that yeah that's good here is the clarity variance and saturation i don't use that in this photo just because of i'm just here for the orange and teal color and here is the orange color is prominent and the blue color then if i make the blue in a aqua color it will be teal color and the adjustment of the green color with that things it will be like uh, the perfect balancing so for that i have to go to the camera calibration options and here is three colors that means the blue red red or orange uh, same thing and same build actually in the same ribbon and the green so here is three primary colors and i will work with that here uh, the primary blue color i'll make it like this yeah if i make the blue primary color uh, hue in a aqua side it will be like teal color 
so if i increase the saturation it will be up so don't make it more just like that so and then the green one yeah i'll make it like that or you can make it like that yeah that's good and the red as well if you make this one like pinkish no don't make, make that orange will be like that that means the red orange red will be like orange and deep orange and uh, uh, till that means the blue will be aqua this one is the main secret settings of the orange and teal preset so here uh, we just adjust the basic settings so if you want you can just add some saturation of orange and from the hsl panel i'll adjust all the things here is the aqua if you make it like that yeah and the blue if you want to increase the saturation you can do that and luminance if you want to make it like that yeah you can do that and the green color green luminance i'll make it down and just green saturation i'll increase and the hue you can make it like that yeah that's good that's good and the orange color if you want to increase the orange luminance you can do that but i'll make it down like that minus two three or four and the saturation a little bit down and red i'll increase it up so let's see the before one and after one so the basic changes you are getting here like uh, yeah the basic changes here the blue portion and the orange portion so i'm going back to the panel okay and then you have to set up the curve tone just because of curve tone is related with the all color and here is the histogram and uh, you're watching here all the colors the blue color the green color and the pink and the red is prominent here and ash also so from here the blue color you have to adjust it out you have to make it like that yeah and then you can make it like this and this portion so i'm working here with this this portion in this area and then the green color and if i make it like this that's good so in this portion you can adjust this portion actually here uh, here is no histogram or uh, just line so that's why i will adjust this portion yeah that's good and the red area here is no line here in this portion that's why i'll just adjust this portion so at first we have to lock the point otherwise it will be move and i don't want to move that point so i'll move only these points so let's see the before one after one the huge change you are getting here so here uh, and the rgb options so in this portion uh, here you can just make like that yeah that's good here is as well from the basic panel you can adjust the another basic settings like uh, i will make the down of highlighted area and the clarity i'll up just because of this this one is the landscape photography you need to clear view for the landscape photography but not use the clarity too much just because of uh, to reduce the quality of your image so i need to add some vignetting so here i'll add some little bit that's cool and the before one and after one so so we have done what we have done use the camera calibration options so you can save the settings for your future use so i'm saving it up if you need that download link please do comment on my video comment section and i'll give you that download link over there so i'm giving the i'm just saving it up okay how to use that settings so let's see that uh, how to use that suppose i'm opening up the file and here is another stock image and i'll make copy by pressing ctrl j and filter and camera filter uh, in this panel you'll get uh, options the load settings option and origin till this preset the xmp file and open it up and you'll get the 
settings uh, here so if you need you can just change the settings all the things so you can use that and hit the ok button you'll get the editing options or edited options over there so thank you so much thanks for watching my video tutorial if you need this preset please do comment on my video comment section i'll give you that download link over there and don't forget to subscribe and share with your friend and until the next video i am asmr signing out today thank you.